Well, today I'm going to talk to you about your air conditioner in your Kia Soul. Have you noticed when you turn it on that the air doesn't blow as like it used to? It's not, it, maybe you only get half the power, so to speak. Well, it could be a couple of things, but before you take it to your air conditioning guy, they're going to charge you an arm and a leg, minimum 75 to 100 bucks just to look at it. But there's something that you could do. Uh, it costs anywhere from 10 to 20 bucks. And here's the thing, it doesn't take any tools. And what it is, it's your cabin air filter and it's inside your car. And if that thing gets clogged up, it constricts the air from flowing through your air conditioner. And what it does is it slows down the air. This you can do yourself. And here's the thing, it doesn't take any tools. So before you go to an AC guy and him charge you a hundred bucks or so, do this first, it'll save you some big money. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the glove compartment and open it up. Once you open it, you're going to see this plastic panel. It even says air filter. You probably didn't notice that. What we're going to do is we're going to remove this panel. It's marked with the red lines around it. Okay, right below where it says air filter, you're going to see a cutout. You can see those red arrows there. What you're going to do is you're going to pull downward like the arrows show. And this plastic panel should just pop right out. Just go ahead and pull downward towards the floor. Okay, now that we got that panel out of the way, we're going to remove another panel. I'm getting some light in there so you can see a little better. Okay, we're going to remove this small panel. You can see the red lines around it. This panel has two plastic tabs that stick up. It kind of acts like a hinge. So if you pull downward, it's not going to open. If you notice, you have these two plastic noses, so to speak, sticking out of the panel. You can see the red arrows on it. That's just to place your fingers. Okay, if you notice where the purple arrow is at, if you look at the purple arrows there, you're going to put your thumb on the bottom tab there, and you're going to put your finger on that piece of plastic that sticks out of the panel, and you're going to pinch, sort of like you're trying to open up a clothespin. A clothespin, oh my god, am I dating myself? Do you guys even know what a clothespin is? Here I have this panel out already and this is how you're going to pinch it. This is a cross section of the panel. Notice how I'm pinching it? It unlocks the bottom. As you're pinching, you want to move slightly downward and out and it should come right out. Now I must say if you have hands like Andre the Giant, it's going to be impossible for you to stick your hand in there. You may want to have somebody with small hands to help you. As you can see, I unsnapped it and it's loose now on the right side. Now let's try the left. The left was a little harder, so forgive me for having my hands in the way, but again, you saw how it comes out. It's really easy, trust me. Okay, it looks like we got it out. As you can see, I'm showing you the pinching motion here. Okay, if you look at the back side of the panel, it has some sponge material. You may want to clean that out really good, otherwise it's going to clog your filter. Okay, now that we got that small access panel out of the way, you can see the filter now. Go ahead and pull it out. You may want to pull the right side first, then the left, then the right. Just kind of ease it out. Try not to aggressively remove it, otherwise you're just going to shake dust in your system. Wow, I just got this car a month ago, and it looks like the previous owner never changed this filter. No wonder the air didn't have any power behind it. Okay, here's my new filter. Only paid 10 bucks for mine, but it's up to you. Whatever you want to pay for a filter, they range anywhere from 8 bucks all the way up to 30 bucks. So it's up to you what kind of quality of air filter you want to get. Okay, this is important. If you look on the side of the filter, you'll see an arrow. What you want is the arrow or the airflow to go downward. So point the arrow downward towards the floor. That's the way it's engineered for this filter to work correctly. Now that we have the filter pointed correctly, we're ready to install the filter. Make sure as you're installing it, you have the hard ends or the flat ends on the left and right sides. Go ahead and stick the filter in and just like you took it out, 
Ease the right side in first, about an inch or so, then the left, and just work your way in. Don't shove it in there. You might squeeze the filter and it'll look like a and it'll look like an accordion. Just slide it all the way back till it's flush to where it originally was. Okay, now that we got the filter in, let's go ahead and snap in our door. Remember to stick those two tabs up on top, there'll be a slot where they go in. Once you've got it in there, just press the bottom part inward and it'll snap right in. See, I told you it was easy. Okay, now we're going to put the last cover in. Again, just make sure that these bottom tabs are in first. You have three of them. Lock those into place. Position the top and press in and it should snap in and you're all done. You just saved yourself around a hundred bucks. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it was very informative. Please check out my other how-to videos. Oh, and check out my new website. There's new items being put in there every day. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and of course, hit the bell. Until then, we'll see you at my next video. Bye!